Welcome to this new session of Issal and BFATE. In this session, I'm going to take up uh, the doubts around uh, the impact of uh, class 10th marks for your uh, shortlists for uh, WAT and PI from some of the top B schools. So first of all, let me clear to you that yes, there are quite a few ions which give a huge weightage to class 10th marks, but that does not mean that all the ions, including the old ions, are out of your reach. So there are certain ions which do not give any weightage to class 10th marks and these include the names of uh, I am Lucknow, I am Kozikod, I am Shillong, I am Tirchi, Raipur, Sirmor and Amritsar. These are the seven ions which do not give any weightage to class 10th marks. So if you are aiming for ions and that is what is stopping you from starting your preparation, something uh, as an inhibition that you have less marks in class 10 so you don't need to worry because you still have seven ions which can help you get through if you score well in your CAT examination. Apart from this, the other ions uh, which do have weighted for class 10, even there if you score well in your uh, CAT examination and if you have good marks in graduation 12 as well as have a decent work experience, you should be able to get through. So class 10 marks if only class 10th marks are a deterrent, then you don't need to worry because there are 7 ions which will allow you to get through irrespective of your class 10th marks and while at other colleges, you can get through by strong uh, marks and strong profile across other parameters. So there is no need to be so bogged down that just class 10th marks stop you from preparing well and stay determined to get into and I am okay so I hope uh, this quick short video has helped you to understand that you don't need to worry a lot about your class 10th marks and you can just start off preparing for CAT with full throttle we'll meet you again in the next session of ISAL MBA Fateh